welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna. I'm a little bit spooky and today we are going to be talking about all my favorite hair care and body care from 2022. So <laughs> if that interests you, just go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know some hair products you have been loving throughout 2022 and body care. All right, let's get into the products. So, if you have watched my channel for a little while now, you know I've been on a bit of a hair journey. I've been experimenting, trying some new things, going a little bit uh, more gentle on the hair, and embracing the wavy, curly life. And I'm loving it. I've seen a huge change in my hair through the last, like, I don't know, five months, four or five months, since I started doing this wavy, curly life, and the difference in the health of my hair is insane because I'm using better products mostly and I'm not putting a ton of heat on my hair anymore and I'm just being a little more kind to it. And yeah, just the, the change has been miraculous. Like I don't have nearly the amount of breakage and hair shedding that I had before. Girl, before my hair brushes look like Chewbacca used them. Like it was bad. Now it's like the teensiest little bit of hair. It's amazing. I don't have to clean my brushes constantly. <laughs> I don't have huge hairballs when I wash my hair anymore. It's very, it's a, a shocking difference. And just my hair is shinier. It feels more resilient. I have less frizz. It's really manageable and been much more silky feeling and texture. It's just been a lot easier to take care of. When I first started doing this whole curly wavy situation, it didn't go well at first. It, there was a lot of trial and error. I did a lot of experimenting, a lot of research, a lot of a lot of products were tried <laughs> in the last six months on this hair to uh, find what was working for me. And for your reference, I have two B to three A hair somewhere around there. It's kind of medium to high porosity, depending what part of my hair we're talking about. The ends and the front is definitely high porosity because bleach. I do have color treated hair. I'm, I'm not doing strict curly girl. I'm just taking kind of hint, tips and tricks from the method, but the only thing I'm really trying to avoid is drying alcohols. Otherwise, silicones, all that, I don't care. I'm gonna use what my hair likes and what works for me. Oh, it's a uh, low density. It's, very, it's quite thin. I have very fine hair, but it's long. I have recently trimmed it so it's a little bit shorter and it kind of bounces up when it's curled. Um, we're having a pretty decent curl day today too. I, I struggle with the front bits and today they actually are kind of cooperating so I'm like, ooh, yay. All right, so let's get into the products now. I'm gonna give you a little intro on my hair. I do look for products that are curl enhancing. I like products that are great for detangling, moisturizing without weighing my hair down, and also very volumizing products. So that's kind of what I look for in my stylers, my cleansers, conditioners, everything. It needs to be something that's very moisturizing but lightweight, something that gives me nice slip to my hair, allows me to brush it easily, and helps me with curl enhancement, helps, helps prevent frizz, and most importantly, lightweight. That, that is the biggest, biggest importance there. And I do have a couple of channels that I have learned so, so much about hair from, and I'm gonna link them in the eye because if you are starting out on a wavy, curly hair journey and just need some tips and tricks, I highly recommend Mains by Mel and Swavy, Wavy, S Wavy, Curly Courtney. <laughs> I can't think of the order her name is. I'll put it here on the screen. I've learned so much from both those channels and I have a very similar hair type to Courtney. So a lot of the products she used, I found work really well for myself. Um, yeah, and I just learned so many good tips and tricks for care and not to be scared of certain products and silicones and all that from Mains by Mel and how to like trim my own hair. Just I'll, just a plethora of information from those girls. I learned so much and I also just really enjoy watching them style their hair for some reason. Anyway, now that you know my little hair journey, what I look for in product and all that, let's go ahead and talk about said products. All right, we'll start with cleansing. A good clarifying shampoo is like key 
I've discovered with doing this whole wavy curly process. And honestly, I think a good clarifying wash is just good for anybody that uses product in their hair or if you have like oily scalp or whatever. And one that I have tried this year that I actually really enjoyed, I don't know why my bottle is all wonky. It was like that when I bought it, but it was the only one they had on the shelf. But this is the Kristen S Deep Clean Clarifying Shampoo. This removes buildup, purifies, adds volume, enhanced shine, mineral detoxing, and super sudsing. This is a fantastic clarifying wash. I love it. You don't need much. I use this baby once a week, maybe every two weeks, depending on how my hair feels and how much product I have in it or whatever. I'm very intuitive with my hair and I decide, you know, what, what does it feel like it needs? Is it feeling, do I have too much buildup in it? Did I put a lot of spray or like texturizer in there? This, this right here gets my hair so clean feeling without it feeling super dry and stripped. Some of the clarifying washes I've tried have been incredibly drying. Like the, the suave one that everybody loves, which I think they changed the formula of. This one still feels gentle. Like it doesn't make your hair feel stripped. And yet it still feels very clean at the same time. It's really, really good for like a reset wash type of thing. And this one is cruelty free, vegan, free of parabens, stylates, and silicones. This has the zip up technology, which is proprietary to Kristen S products, everything she, and this does come in a fragrance free option as well. I like my fragrance. I'm not, I, I do. I like anything that is scented. This is a very nice kind of floral, clean scent to it. I love it. Really, really good stuff. And usually when I use this, I'm, I haven't found that holy grail conditioner yet that I want to rave about. Recently, I've just been using one from Cantu after this, but I haven't found that that one. But I usually follow with a good hair mask after I've done a clarifying and a condition. <laughs> but another shampoo and conditioner that I have completely fallen in love with, and they are kind of expensive. Like I said recently in a video that I would be happy to use this shampoo and conditioner for the rest of my life and never try another one and be completely happy. And that is the Colleen Rothschild shampoo and conditioner. This is the Quench and Shine Restorative Shampoo and the Replenish and Shine Daily Conditioner. These are the most gentle yet effective shampoo and conditioning system I have ever used. You talk about your hair feeling, having such a lovely slip to it. Like after I use the shampoo, my hair doesn't feel tangled. It just, I can glide my fingers through it. I've never had that happen with a shampoo before. This is a ton of fantastic ingredients within. It has shea butter, uh, oils, biotin, niacinamide, all kinds of really good stuff. And it is sulfate free and paraben free. Very good. Oh, and it smells like absolute heaven. It smells like patchouli perfume. And that is what I absolutely love about it is the beautiful scent and it does such a good job cleansing. And the conditioner does an amazing job for just adding beautiful slip and hydration to the hair without weighing it down. I mean, you can just run your fingers through and detangle so easily with this and your hair feels amazing and there's way less frizz and just, I don't, it, these two are magic. And this also has some really good ingredients in it. It has poppy, it has some various oils, uh, IV extracts, it's a very lightweight formula. I mean, it's, oh, it's so good and it has the lovely smell as well. Like, seriously, these are, these are like holy grail status for sure. My favorite thing I think I've tried this year is these two products. <laughs> hair mask, I will put it on the screen. That one does such a good job of restoring the hair and bringing back all the moisture, protein, everything you need. Oh, it's so, so good. And it is so affordable. You can catch it on sale and get it like buy one, get one half price. And they're around $2 a packet. They are so nice. And you can get, I can get usually about two uses from one pack. So yeah, they're great stuff. Very, very hydrating on the hair and definitely a great little follow-up for a clarifying wash. And very, very affordable and accessible. Now for some other masks that I really enjoy. First is this one from Madison Reed. This is a color therapy, colorless conditioning hair mask. This is in the Pura shade, which means it doesn't have a color and it's for deep conditioning. So this is the colorless one and it will give you very hydrated, just conditioned, lovely feeling hair with beautiful shine without having to work, without the color depositing 
aspect of it. It's really, really nice, and I do love using this one. Alternatively, with these other masks, I kind of just go with what I want to use. <laughs> But this is a Lux Colorless Conditioning Hair Mask Restorative Treatment Enhances Color while adding intense hydration. And you only have to leave this one on five minutes. Now, I don't think it really does anything for color necessarily because it's colorless. But it does add beautiful shine and condition conditioning to your hair. And it is made for color-treated hair. So it is very nourishing. I think this is a really, really good conditioning product. And, and I also have the Color Depositing Hair Mask, and this is Perla. This adds violet tones to neutral, neutralize brassiness. And I use this through my front bits here where I have bleached my hair. I haven't done it in a little while, so that's why they look a little brassy. But this adds the most beautiful purple toning to bleached hair, <laughs> and it's so effective. Like this has to be one of the most effective masks I've ever used. It doesn't, to me, pull too lavender in spots. It, it does pretty even. And again, leaves your hair super hydrated and feeling great while neutralizing those brassy tones. Love it so much. It's basically the same thing as this one. It just has the toning in it. So I usually put this one through the front bits and then this one through the rest of my hair that doesn't really need toning. And then I also have this one from Madison Reed, which is the Color Reviving Gloss in Crema, which is for cool violet and beige tones, which is also meant to neutralize brassiness. And this is more like um, just a hair gloss type of situation, not really a mask, but it does give you really good shine and it does amazing. It really does neutralize those brassy tones so so well. Like this little combo right here is a match made in heaven. Such a good product. And speaking of hair color real quick, I do want to mention the IGK box hair dye. It's phenomenal. Just throw that in there. I love <laughs> their box dye. I really want to uh, pick up some more of that because that was one of the best box dyes I've used. And I'm a do-it-yourself kind of girl. It was just such a lovely experience to use. I have a tutorial or I have a whole review listed. I'll link in the eye because it was such a good product. I was very impressed with it. So I just want to throw that in there. The last mask I want to talk about is from Just You. I just started using this one about a month ago and this is the Honey Infused Hair Mask. This one is beautiful. It has the most lovely scent. Mm, it smells... So, so good. It's a floral powdery scent and I love it. And it has such a nice texture. It's very rich. It has a decent amount of slip to it. Where a lot of hair masks don't really have a lot of slip like conditioners do. You're not meant to detangle with a mask. Uh, this one actually has a little bit of slip to it. Oh, it's so nice. Your hair will feel amazing, like absolute heaven after using this. And lately I have been following my clarifying wash with this and then a regular conditioner because it does say to use a regular conditioner after. I cannot wait to try more from just you because I've been very impressed with the couple of products I have tried. All right, leave-ins, like leave-in conditioners, curl creams. This was something that I never used in the past was a leave-in conditioner or anything like that. So this was a new world for me. And there was some hits and misses, of course, with trying out leave-ins, especially when you have fine, thin hair, but is also dry hair. <laughs> so it's a balancing act. And I found quite a few leave-ins that work great for me. So first one I want to talk about is the Colleen Rothschild Protect and Perfect Styling Cream. This is a lovely product. I can actually pair this up with other stylers and other leave-ins pretty well and this gives your hair a nice slip to it. It gives you a bit more of a sleeker feel, uh, very shiny. It has a beautiful patchouli scent also. This doesn't really offer any curl enhancement but this does have a blend of shea butter and another type of butter that I can't pronounce, argan oil. It has all the the good things in there and it is, I think if you had curly hair, this is a really good product to use, or if you want really silly hair that's dry, this is, I would also recommend this to you. I enjoy it. I use it pretty sparingly because it is quite pricey and you really don't need much at all. And it does give the hair just really nice shine and manageability to where it doesn't tangle, like almost at all. That's what's crazy about this product is that I've never had something make my hair like just not tangle. 
<laughs> like it just stays where I can run my fingers through it. That's insane to me. And it, this will give you the most beautiful blowouts as well. Like all around, just beautiful product. And I've had some great hair days with this. Another leave-in here is the Kristen S. Ultra Hydrating Curl Leave-In Cream. This is a moisture replenishing, frizz fighting, strand softening, humidity shielding, medium to coarse curl types. This is a tricky product because look, it looks like water. It looks so thin, but no, nah. oh no. You, need, you don't need much, <laughs> especially on my hair type. I don't need much. This does great for detangling also. I spray a little bit of this in while my hair is wet and go ahead and do my detangling and my curl organizing and you know separating, getting my clumps formed. This is great for that and it is so, so lightweight. You just don't over, because this one will kind of uh, over apply on you because it's, it's tricky because it's so lightweight <laughs> that I had no, I like, because it comes out so light in that little mist, I was like, oh, this is so watery. I'm gonna have to use a ton of this. No, a little bit was all I need. <laughs> Just a few sprays around towards the ends of my hair and it does great like ends to mid shaft and I've loved it. It just was a little bit of a learning curve with this one <laughs> when it comes to that. But since then I've kind of learned how to use the product and it's definitely been a great one to incorporate in. And it is actually really lightweight if you just don't over apply it. But uh, this is free from drying alcohols, sulfates, parabens, dilates, silicones, cruelty free, color and keratin safe and vegan. This helps to defrizz, detangle, control flyaways, hydrate hair, it is very hydrating. Minimize the appearance of split ends, seal cuticles, and add shine, and it does really add shine. And it is also really good for uh, refreshing your hair the next day. This is one of the few products that I found effective for next day when I wanna refresh without adding a texture or way down to my hair. A lot of times refresh sprays just make my hair feel gross. This one doesn't do that. And lastly, for leave-ins, this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Curl Light Defining Cream. For moisturized, flexible curls with movement, made for fine to medium hair, this is another really lovely product. A little bit's all you need if you have hair like mine. And it truly helps enhance curl, gives your hair a nice body, very hydrating product. This is what started the whole curly hair journey for me, or wavy curly journey for me, was this right here. I, I got sent this from Bumble and Bumble, and it just kind of started a whole thing. And then I was like, well, I like using this product, and <laughs> you can go back to my vlogs, like the first time I used it, and I had just like these sad little limp curl, barely any curls. I didn't know how to diffuse my hair at the time. I didn't have a diffuser and it was not good, but I stuck with it and kept practicing and learning about how to use products like this and how to treat my hair. And it was a game changer and it's all really due to this product. This was the, the one that started it all. And yeah, this is a lightweight, pretty lightweight product and it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. If you do use too much, you'll kind of feel it in your hair. That's the only downside to it. But really, you don't need, I personally don't need a whole lot of it. So it la has lasted me a long time. Nice, pleasant scent. And yeah, it definitely does enhance curl. It enhances clumping really well. So if you want some thicker, juicier looking curls, something like this does great for that. And I've enjoyed the heck out of it. I'm currently on the hunt for like some drugstore dupe options for the BB curl line because it's really good but it's also quite expensive well not the most expensive thing in the world but it, they're about medium yeah bubble and bubbles kind of a higher end brand so they're kind of they're a little pricey it's more than I want to spend on hair products so I'm trying to find me some dupes let's talk of gels I have two gels that I want to talk about that one is more of a light hold and one is the ultimate hair gel in my opinion that nothing has compared to yet. First, let's talk about the lighter hold gel that I like to use when I'm going for a little bit more of a wavy, beachy look. I have the naturally like beachy hair. And when I wanna go for more of that look, I like to use this gel right here. This is the Weightless Shine Curl Defining Jelly. This is curl perfecting, Coil perfecting, invisible finish, shine enhancing, frizz reducing, fine to medium curl types, 
from Kristen S. This has a lovely fragrance, by the way, and it is incredibly lightweight. My only little, I wish it just had a little bit more hold. To me, it doesn't have the strongest hold in the world, but otherwise, it's a really nice gel. It's definitely a nice lighter weight option if you don't like crunchy, heavy feeling gels or thick gels. This one's a little bit more thin, a little bit easier to work with and spread throughout the hair, and I really like it. It just depends on what I'm going for with my hairstyle. So if I want something a little bit more softer curls, not so defined, and this is my favorite for a lighter kind of a gel option. Just depends on my mood and what kind of curl I'm going for that day or what kind of hairstyle I'm going for. It's fun to change it up and try different ones, but I really like this one. And I think it's really nice for a lighter gel option because the other gel I'm gonna talk about is a hardcore gel. This is the Harry Sculpting Gel. This is really affordable, easy to get your hands on. It's basically sold everywhere. And this is one of the strongest hold gels I've ever used. And it will give you incredible curl enhancement and shrinkage to your hair. It's easy to work with. You just kind of have to emulsify it in your hands. It will give you a cast that will stick around. You really got to scrunch it out. And I think this one is so good. But yeah, this is a long lasting gel that provides strong hold. And boy, does it. And it doesn't flake. And that's one of the things it says about it is that it doesn't flake. And this one is also curly girl approved. I do believe. And so it doesn't have an overly masculine strong scent. It doesn't linger in your hair. So if you don't like, you know, the way boy hair products smell, it's not going to stick around very long. And to me, it's a nice, pleasant fragrance. They, it's really not that far off in fragrance to the Kristen S. This one's just a little bit more floral than this, but it, this one still has kind of a, a similar scent to it. It's not, it's not terribly far off. But boy, this, this will give you the best curls of your life and they will last for days. I love it for that because when I get to about day three, I have a frizz ball most of the time and this keeps my hair from going crazy frizzy and kind of, I can hang on to that definition a little longer before my hair goes and ends up just being a frizzy mess. Like I'm surprised, this is day two hair and I was also outside like I had to go run errands and I was like when I was leaving Walgreens and I was loading stuff in the car, it was misting and it was cold. And I mean, my hair still looks pretty good if you ask me for me. <laughs> I do kind of have wild hair that just does what it does, but considering it got wet and it should be a clumpy, gross mess, <laughs> it, it held up really well. So there's definitely something to the Harry's gel. This is actually my second one because that's how much I love it. It's the go-to of the gels. All right, and I have one mousse to talk about, which I do pair up with the gels depending on the mood. Sometimes I just use the mousse and the curl cream. Sometimes I just use the gel and the curl cream. I have no specific set routine. <laughs> But this is the BB Curl Mousse for touchable curls and lift. This does give me really nice volume to my hair. And a little bit goes a really long way too. It, it's really nice for fine, thin hair that needs a little more volume and fluff to it. This is fantastic for that. It is also a very nourishing product and hydrating. It doesn't make your hair feel stiff or dry or sticky, anything like that, where a lot of a lot of mousses can feel very stiff. This one doesn't do that at all. It's very soft hold, or very soft, touchable feel once it dries. And yeah, it's really, really nice. Highly recommend this if you are looking for a mousse to help out with your curls. Uh, I have two texture sprays that stood out to me this year. This is the DPU, DP Hue <laughs> Color Fresh Dry Texture Spray. This is a bit more of a hardcore texture spray, but it's not the most, hardcore one I've tried. This one's kind of that just right balance and it gives you really good texture and a little bit of volume. Kind of what I like about dry shampoo this gives me is it gives me that just a little bit of grit and something to my hair that my hair lacks a lot of times and it kind of gives me a little more volume and just oomph to the hair and I'm, I'm a fan of a texture spray and this one was very very good. I think this one's a little bit more expensive but um a good little dupe I found of it is the Heritage 
texture spray. This one is really affordable, easy to get your hands on at the drugstore or at Walmart. I think this is exclusive to Walmart. But uh, this is the Heritage by Mindy McKnight Magic Spell Texturizing Spray. This is really good. It's not quite as strong as this one. Like this one can, you can over apply it and it might be a little bit too strong, but I don't mind that. <laughs> Especially for like doing an updo or like a style to my hair. Something like that's great. But this one, this is my, I'm on my second can of this. I love it. It has a lovely scent. It is a bit of a strong scent, but it's nice to me. It has... It makes me think of like grapefruit or something. I can't quite put my finger on what this smells like, but I like it. And this is a really like clean product. Uh, no SLL, no SLS, no SLES. Dilate free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, aluminum free, mineral oil free, color safe, vegan, cruelty free. She has a whole line of products. I haven't tried anything else from the brand. But I really do like this. I just kind of do a little bit into my root area just to kind of give it a little bit of lift right in here where my hair falls flat. And this is also really good if you're doing like updos and stuff. Just kind of gives the hair some grip to it and allows it to be styled easier. And I find it helps also prolongs my hairstyle a little bit. Kind of keeps things from getting quite as oily feeling because it does have that little bit of absorbency like a dry shampoo does. I'm currently on the hunt for a new dry shampoo <sighs> since uh, they recalled my my precious Dove one. So uh, yeah, let me know some dry shampoos down in the comment section. But uh, this has kind of <laughs> been what I've been using. Kind of, it kind of works as that. It, it's doing two things in one for me. But yeah, I throw this in my hair after I'm done styling and have like shaken out my roots. I'll spray a little bit of this in there once my hair is dry. And then I go in with my hair oils to scrunch out the crunch and protect from getting frizz and all that jazz. And I have two hair oils that I've been really liking that are polar opposites as far as hair gels go, as far as hair oils go. First is the Just Just You one. This one, me, we went back and forth, but now that it has gotten cold, we're best friends. This has been like, <laughs> very much needed now that the uh, air has gotten colder and I'm learning what my hair curls need during the colder months and they definitely need a little more oil in them a little more love but this is great for scrunching out the crunch I just use a tiny amount this is a very heavy thick oil it has a beautiful fragrance like oh I love the way it smells it's getting that floral kind of powdery smell but it's a very rich, luxurious product. This is gonna last me forever because I use such a small amount, but it really does give great shine to the hair. If your hair is much drier than mine or thicker, that would do great for you. But yeah, since it's gotten colder, I've been able to use it to scrunch out the crunch in my hair and kind of just when I'm kind of reviving it, it's been great. And it kind of just helps predict, protect your hair from the elements a little bit. And I also like to apply it before I go to bed at night or on my ends. After I put my hair in my little pineapple, I just kind of scrunch a little bit in to the ends and it keeps my hair from getting so frizzy and drying out throughout the night. Cause that was a problem I was having is my hair would get really dry. When I wake up in the morning, it'd be just super dry feeling. And I figured out putting a little bit of oil in there before I go to bed, it gives it time to absorb overnight. And I wake up and the hair isn't super dried out and frizzy. Now another oil that I love that is the total opposite of this oil. This one, which is the total opposite of the Jishu. This is the Cake Soft Touch Reset Restore Hair Oil. This is a really dry oil that you kind of can't overdo. I mean, you've got to really try to overdo it with this one. But this is so good for especially second day to just rejuice the hair and kind of get it to restyle a little bit without wetting it down. It does great for that. I feel like this offers some hold and like some restyling capabilities. It gives you great shine. It smells really nice. It smells like lemon cookies in the best way. Like it's sugary, lemony goodness. And yeah, this is an ultra smoothing, moisturizing and taming product. Um, pretty accessible and pretty affordable. You can get this at Walgreens. 
and I mean, look how much I've used. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this one. This is my go-to oil um, for just every day when I just need to put some oil on. But recently, this one's kind of been getting used a lot more. But throughout the summer, this was my favorite, and it still is. I still use it constantly, especially on that second day when I just need to revive things a little bit. And last thing for hair is a hairspray. That's one thing I notice a lot in the curly community is a lack of hairspray. I'm a hairspray girl. Look, I grew up in the 90s. I'm a hairspray girl, okay? I love a good spray. The thing with hairsprays is that they are most of the time full of really drying alcohols. So I did some research and found this one. It's alcohol. This is the air spray from Pantene. No alcohol in here. It is really nice hold. It's a level three, whatever that means. But yeah, I find this to be a really nice hold. It's, it doesn't make your hair feel dry or heavy or eth or sticky like a lot of hairsprays do. This is very lightweight, but still gives you that beautiful hold to your hair that you need without all the downsides of a hairspray. I think the only, only like caveat with this is that it does take a minute to dry in your hair. And I actually use it after I've kind of gotten the cast on my hair when I'm diffusing. I'll go in and just spray a little bit of this in and it kind of really helps that cast lock in. And then I'll use it the next day if I'm restyling like, you know, just to fix my front part to keep it from falling in my face like this all day. And you know, if I want to add a little more definition, I'll kind of spritz some in and just do a little of this. It's a really good hairspray. I actually used this um, a few years ago when this first came out and I loved it. I didn't realize it was alcohol free then and just didn't think anything of it. And so I recommended it and I was like, oh yeah, I love that hairspray. I'm so happy to have that back in my life. Hands down, my favorite hairspray now. And it doesn't dry my hair out. It doesn't feel like my hair is gonna break when I use this. It feels good and <laughs> it's alcohol free. If you know the Chris Farley sketch that I'm referencing right there, give me a give me a thumbs up in the comments because that's a funny sketch. If I can find it on YouTube, I'll link in the eye. But it's him as like on QBC or something like that promoting a new or it's like an infomercial and he's promoting a a hairspray that's alcohol free and they just keep going on about it and it's really really funny. And I can't look at this product without thinking about that sketch from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> so that's all for hair. I know it was, a, it was a lot, but we've been on a hair journey this year, been trying out new things and experimenting, and it's just been a whole thing with the hair. I used to hate messing with my hair, like zero interest in my hair whatsoever, and I started trying to style it a little bit because I started doing YouTube. I was like, well, I gotta kinda do something to it and make it look good, so I was just, blow drying and straightening and curl iron, curling, curl, curling ironing and crimping the shit out of it. I was frying it, torturing it. About the only thing I ever had interest in my hair was like the color. I was just, I've never liked styling my own hair. And now I enjoy styling my hair. Like I actually get excited about hair washing day because I love the whole ritual of taking care of my little waves and curls and babying them and doing the curl clumps and the scrunching and plopping. I like the whole, the whole ritual of it is, I find it very relaxing and just something nice to do for myself. Move away from hair. I do want to talk about a couple little uh, tools that I've enjoyed. First is this Madison Reed. They sent me this with the, one of the, the masks and this is a really, really good wet brush. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of hair in there. It's very, very soft. I actually like it better than the regular wet brush, but this is great for organizing your curl clumps, detangling your hair with the conditioner in, and then after you get out to like kind of get your curl clumps sorted out, really, really good for that. So, so gentle. I don't feel like I'm damaging my hair on my thin and fine hair when it's wet because this brush is just so, so soft and bendy bristles. Yet it detangles so well and it's great on dry hair too if you're gonna brush your hair. Okay, I'm not opposed to brushing my hair when it's dry. I usually just do that before I like am washing it or something. And if I'm wanting to take some extra time and steps, especially with this these front part, front bits of my hair, 
Dimmin brush. This is the classic Dimmin brush. I have one that they did, I think, for uh, charity or donations or something, and it's got little bees on it. I mean, I had to get the one with the bees on it. But yeah, good old Dimmin brush. This is great for doing the little twisty, twisty situation to kind of encourage your curls to go into their pattern. It's really good for getting curl clumps as well. You can really do this and get the good volume going. If I'm feeling like a little extra, I take the time and do that with this and my hair will look like I used a curl and wand on it. It is insane. I was shocked the first time I used this at the perfected defined curls. It looked like I took a curl and iron and did it. I was I'm shocked that my hair could just do that naturally. It just takes a little more time and effort to do. But if I'm feeling a little special, I'll go in with that guy. Especially, I like it also for touching up, say like the next day or day three or day four hair or whatever. If you have one really, really wonky curl that is just not playing right or a few curls that are just going haywire or they're frizzy or whatever, I'll wet down that one, those curl clumps and then take this and kind of twist them and then hit them with the diffuser for a little bit and it'll put everything back like it should be and that's another great thing about the Dimmin brush is it's great for this little touch up. Uh, another little thing I do enjoy is a hair pick. A good old hair pick. This is what my mom used to use in her hair and it never occurred to me to use one in mine <laughs> until recently. I was like hey I remember my mom using picks to kind of smooth out like around her root area and get some lift like this and a little of this and yeah I picked these up at my local grocery store they were like three dollars for a pack of three just good old classic goodie picks game-changing product I've used these every single day that I style my hair they're great for day two and day three just to kind of help sort things out a little bit, organize things, kind of smooth over anything that's a little too crazy. And yeah, last little hair thingy is these little bitty clips. I got a pack, huge pack of these little clips from the same grocery store for like a dollar, two dollars. And I use these, a lot of times you probably see me in videos with them just with my hair clipped in them, but I actually use these after my hair has been diffused and I haven't scrunched out the crunch yet. I use these to kind of get a little root, root lift. Uh, what do they call it? Root clipping. I use these for that and they do great. I have, I think, 12 of them. <laughs> I use about four. Clip up the front and then the sides and then right here at the crown to get a little lift while the hair is kind of setting and getting the rest of the way dry because I only diffuse to about 90. 85 to 90 percent dry and these have been great for just a little root lift. Um, I know they make special clips for that. I just wanted to kind of try out just some cheapies to see if I was going to even like trying doing that method. These are doing great for me. I love them and they've just been really handy. <laughs> All right let's talk about a little bit of body care. That's that's it for hair. I, I promise that's it for hair. So self tanners. I tried out the Saint Tropez self tanning Mousse, yeah, Lux Whip Cream Mousse. I, I understand the hype now around the Saint Tropez self tanning products. This did such a good job. It has such a beautiful color on me. Uh, it doesn't really shade, say what shade this is or anything. It's just the Lux Whip Cream Mousse. I've enjoyed this one quite a bit. Like it, between this one and the Bondi Sands, I'm a happy camper, but this one's been really easy to use. It wears a decent amount of time. Uh, I feel like it fades fairly gracefully. And yeah, I really like this self tanner. So <laughs> just let you know, this is a good self tanner that I really enjoyed in 2022 and will happily continue to use into 2023 when we get in them summer months. Some body scrubs that I've been using since I've kind of got into the self tanner last year. I've been also experimenting, experimenting with a few different body scrubs. First is this one from Dove. This is the exfoliating body polish with brown sugar and coconut butter. This smells like a donut. Like it is so edible smelling. It smells like the inside of a donut store. It's so nice. 
but like I, I just love the scent of it it has a nice lather to it so you can kind of use it as a body wash too this one I prefer to use in the shower because the little bits in this don't dissolve and you'll feel like you're sitting in sand in the bathtub so that's very unpleasant so I do like to use this one in the shower or on my hands at the sink it's really nice for that and yeah it's not the most exfoliating body polish but it's a nice experience to use because of the scent and the lather from it that I find it to be just a nice kind of in between like if I'm not worried about doing like a super duper good exfoliation for tan or anything this one's just been really good I just I like the scent of it I'm, I'm gonna need them to make a just regular like body wash that smells like this and if they could you know make where it actually dissolves in the bath would be good too I know it's not like I'm complaining about it, but I really love this. I love it for at the sink to wash my hands with and in the shower. <laughs> it, and it does a decent job exfoliating. It's not the most hardcore exfoliating. as in, It's not going to make you feel chapped or over exfoliate or anything like that. It's very gentle. So that's, that's what, I'm, what I want to get at that. Now one that is a little more hardcore will definitely exfoliate the heck out of your skin. That is the Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Scrub. I have it in the Rose Essential Oil Scent. You know how I feel about Rose. I freaking love Rose. And this is a hardcore sugar scrub. Like, ooh, you will have the most silky smooth skin of your life. It is great for prepping for your self-tan. It dissolves in the bath. All around really good things about this one. And again, it's also pretty accessible, as is the Dove one. As you can find both of these at Walmart and uh, Walgreens, I believe. But I just really like the scent of this one. It has that nice oily base to it, that, but it also doesn't leave the tub feeling too slippery either. So that's also really nice. And it doesn't make your skin feel dried out because it has all the lovely oils within. And it's just an all around good experience to use. And uh, one that I've more recently brought into my rotation of scrubs. I don't know why I end up with so many scrubs. <laughs> this is a Soap and Glory, the Scrub of Your Life Smoothing Body Scrub in the original pink fragrance. A, I love the fragrance of this. It smells so good. It's such a, it reminds me like a Victoria's Secret type of smell. It's very girly kind of perfumey floral but I really like it <laughs> and this exfoliates incredibly well just like the Dr. Teal's and this one's in the more the squeezy tube it dissolves in the bath it checks all the boxes for me it's in that more of an oily base as well and it's very and yeah, it just does a really good job leaving your skin super smooth much like the Dr. Teal's does so yeah and you can get this I think at Walgreens you guys know I, I gotta I gotta bring it up <laughs> the gentleman blend coffee and amber body wash from Old Spice this smells like pure heaven it has a beautiful soft creamy lather it is great for like shaving your legs everything it's very gentle it doesn't feel drying and it has the most yummy scent ever me and my husband both tear through these I now buy them two at a time one for the shower and one for the bathtub because that's how much we both love this one's just so much it has just the most it's the fragrance I love it I love the texture of it this knocks all the other Old Spice products out the park for me and you know I love my Old Spice products I'm I am that kind of growl I love Old Spice deodorants I love their body washes I buy them for myself as much as I buy them for my husband and this one has just won my heart this year and I think this has to be like our fifth bottle <laughs> like it's, it's our favorite it is me me and my husband's both our favorite and I also love the deodorant that goes with this it isn't the most uh, hardcore deodorant you will have to reapply it depending on how sweaty you get uh, I find I, I apply it morning and night and yeah it has that lovely yummy smell as well and it's great for like the winter time you're not super sweaty anyway okay and then one little last thing here for body care that's the k-skin spf 45 island glow body lotion this is such a small container kind of expensive too but oh is it beautiful it's like flawless filter for your body plus an spf 
it will give your skin the most beautiful glow and almost like a perfected look just like flawless filter does from charlotte Tilbury. and it has that nice kind of sheen to it and it has the spf 45 zero fragrance it's not greasy you don't even feel it on your skin this is an amazing spf it's great to throw on your legs or your decollete and arms if they're showing in the summer and it just it's, it's a very beautiful product and highly recommend this as well okay i think that's all for my hair care and body care that i want to talk about this year i know i know it was a lot of hair stuff and so i've been on a hair journey and i've been trying a lot of products y'all don't want to see how many i have over here that i'm just kind of meh about that i didn't even mention because that's a lot <coughs> i'll see <clears throat> i'll see but yeah, everything here that I mentioned as far as the hair products go, play really well together to mix and match and experiment with. I didn't find anything to clash or cause any weird things to happen. They all performed great. And I'm very happy with these products right here. These are the, these are the top tier. So yeah, let me know down below your thoughts. Uh, do any of you guys do wavy curly hair? Let me know and let me know some of your favorite products. And you have thin fine hair. Also, let me know that down below. And yeah, happy 2023. Here's to some healthy hair in the new year. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Stay spooky. Happy 2023. I'll see y'all later. Bye now.